Hello, welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor where we're going to embark on our last section of these uh, videos that are dealing with oxidation and reduction. So what we're going to do in this section is continue talking about the activity series and we're going to get a little more practice using the activity series that we have written on the board to predict if reactions are going to happen and what is going to happen when they happen. So you might have a problem, a very simple problem on a test that might say, use the activity series to see what happens if you drop an iron nail into, this is supposed to be nail, into copper sulfate. So we want to figure out, is this reaction going to happen or isn't it going to happen? So you need to translate the words to a reaction. So a copper nail, let's just pretend it's pure copper, right? So that's a solid and we're dropping it into copper sulfate. So you've seen this enough, you should realize that that's CuSO4. The question is, what's going to happen? Right, so we can say aqueous here. What's gonna happen here? Is this reaction going to happen or not? So the relevant parts of it here are the copper, uh, the copper metal and the iron. So let's go look here, we'll draw some pictures here. Here's the copper right here, and here is the iron. All right, so what we have is, the iron is lower on the activity series, which means it's easier to oxide, which means it's more active. So the least active stuff on the top, the most active stuff is going down the chart. So because iron is lower on the chart than copper, iron wants to lose its electrons more than copper does. It wants to lose its electrons, it wants to be oxidized, which means it want, wants to react more than copper does. So iron wins, iron wants to lose its electrons more. So here we have iron. Iron wants to lose its electrons. Copper also wants to lose its electrons. It's a metal as well, but iron wants to lose them more badly, right? So because of that, what's going to end up happening is on the right-hand side, this copper is going to be bumped out and form copper metal, and then you're going to have FeSO4. That's what's going to happen. So if you're asked to predict something, that's what you do. You can use the activity series, which again, all these metals want to be oxidized. This is just ranking them to tell you which ones want to be oxidized more so you can predict what's going to happen. All right, so let's do another problem. This, problem, this was problem one. Let's do problem two. What's going to happen if you dip an iron nail into aluminum sulfate? So let's take a second to write the reaction down. So we're going to have, again, an iron nail plus ALSO4. It's AL2SO4-3, actually. That's aluminum sulfate. If you look that up, that's